Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hand and in today's D-Stash video we're going to be sorting through my black polishes and my multi-chromes. So these are the only plain black creme polishes that I have in my collection. The first one is One Coat Black by Holo Taco. It is one coat as the name suggests, it's a lovely black polish, polish and I definitely would repurchase. In fact, um, I will probably buy myself another bottle and keep this original one just to keep the original set complete. And the next one I have is a Barry M. This is a matte black, it's called Espresso. And I keep this one because it's really good for stamping with. Um, you can get a really interesting effect by stamping a black matte polish over the top of a gloss polish. I've tried using a matte top coat to stamp with, it doesn't work the same. I think they dry too fast. Um, so I'm keeping this one for that reason. Next we have got OPI's Lady in Black. Prior to getting the Holo Taco, this was my favourite black polish. Um, it's still nice, it just needs two coats to become opaque. I will keep this one and use it up. Then we have Chanel's Black Satin. I'm about halfway through this one, I think. It's a good polish and it actually stamps if you want a more subtle effect than a true black stamping polish. So I'm going to be keeping this one. You can see there, that's the fill line on it. And then finally, we've got this Cuccio. This one is called 2AM in Hollywood. And I'm keeping this one too because this one is actually quite good for water marbling. The others are all a little bit too thick. This one works well and spreads nicely. Not that I do that very often, but it's nice to have it for if I do want to. So those are all the black creme polishes that I have and I will be keeping them all. Next we've got my black holographic polishes. The first one is by Starily. This one is called Van Helsing. And this one has got a beautiful scattered hollow in it. And it is the truest black holographic polish that I have. But then the holographic in it is very fine and reasonably sparse. And that's what this one looks like on the swatch wheel. You can just about see the holographic in it there. It's quite subtle, but I'm definitely keeping this one. Next we have an old Colours by Leroy. This one is called Brother from Another Mother. And this one is more of a linear holographic. And the minute you put more holographic pigment into black, they start to look a little bit grey. This is the truest black linear hollow that I have. And this is what that one looks like on the swatch wheel. You can see how much lighter it appears compared to the starily below. The next one that we have is this Arda's Nails. And this one I'm not going to show you the name of because of one of the words in it. Um, but you can see that this one has got a little bit of a dark blue violet colour to it don't know what it looks like when you try and look at the base colour. Yeah, and the base colour does look black, but you can see on the wand there, um, the hollow in this one does make it look kind of a little bit dark blue, which isn't really what I'm after. Um, so I'm going to let this one go. I forgot to show you what it looks like on the swatch wheel. It is pretty. It's just not what I want from a black hollow and I've got blue holographics that I prefer. Finally, in this little category, we've got Colour Club in the colour Beyond. And this one 
has got a lot more holographic pigment in it, more of a linear holographic flare, and as a result, this one appears almost grey. So I did keep it before because I thought I might use it for stamping, but I haven't. This is what it looks like on the swatch wheel. Uh, it's pretty, but I have other grey holographic polishes that I prefer. So this one is going to be de-stashed. Next, we've got three glitter holographic blacks. The first one here is the darkest black of them all. This one is Hollow Taco's Black Hollow Wish. It's very pretty. Fairly easy to work with, despite it being a glitter full coverage polish. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And the next one is a little bit of a classic, this one. And this one is Fun Lacquer's Black Hollow Witch. And this one was a collaboration polish with Simply Neological. And although I probably won't ever wear this one again, it was also the first nail polish that I had on my Instagram account. Um, so I'm going to keep this one for sentimental reasons, as well as it being an iconic polish. So that one's staying. And I have done a full comparison of these three polishes on my channel in my Dupe Detective series. But here's how Black Hollow Wish and Black Hollow Witch appear next to each other. And finally, I have this little mini by For Your Nails Only, and it's called Abyss. It's quite similar to Black Hollow Witch, but the glitters are slightly smaller and it builds up a little bit more easily. This is so tiny, I should probably keep this, and at some point, this will end up in my project polish. And here's how it appears compared to Black Hollow Witch by Fun Lacquer. So keeping all three of those. The next four are all random finished blacks, all different, no dupes here at all. Um, but let's have a look at them all. I will show them to you quickly. Haven't swatched these ones. We've got Sally Hansen's Black Tie. I wanted this so badly, I can't even remember why now. Um, I had to import four bottles of it in order to get one. I've given away the rest, this is the only one that I have left. Um, I will swatch this one in a minute actually and make sure that I want to keep it. Um, but I remember really loving it at the time and thinking it was something really, really unusual. So we'll come back to that one in a bit. Next we've got Hollow Taco's Bat Bitch. And this one is from the Sophia Hollow Taco collaboration. Unusual polish this with a very, very fine shimmer in it. Almost looks black till you catch it in the right light. It looks like black velvet on your nails. And I love this one, so this one's staying. Two more Hollow Tacos in this group. This next one comes from the third anniversary collection and this one is blacklisted. Very pretty. I have already done a dupe detective with this and got rid of an OPI that was similar. So this one will be staying also part of a box set as was the last one. And a more recent one this one is called Waste of Space. And this is just really unusual black polish filled with shimmer and different coloured glitters. I think there's holographic in there as well. I don't know. This is just so pretty. Uh, haven't worn it yet. Must wear it soon. Staying in my collection. The next three polishes are all black to red multi-chromes. Uh, really liked this effect, but I haven't worn it very much, I have to admit. And this first one here 
is by Prism Polish and it is called Magma and this was I think one of the earliest ones that was released at least by Indies I think maybe KB Shimmer and ILMP were first this one's really pretty although I don't wear them often I do like the finish there's what it looks like on the swatch wheel next one I have is by For Your Nails Only I haven't worn this one yet this one's called Roulette and this one's got a slightly brighter finish to it than the other one so these two are clearly not dupes even though they are similar I'll show you a close-up of what the swatch wheel looks like in a little bit the last one I have is by Baroness X this one's called a fire agate and it was from January 21 polish pickup and this one's very similar in color to the prism polish but it's got those little flakes in it as well so comparing those two in the bottle you can see that they do look fairly similar here's what all three look like on the swatch wheel so you can see the for your eyes only in the middle there is clearly different but the prism polish and the baroness x are quite similar in their base colour I think the prism polish shifts a little bit more and although it doesn't have those little flakes in it if I want flakes I can always put them on afterwards myself so I'm going to de-stash the Baroness X okay so we're going to finish out this section with my multi-chrome polishes because I didn't think I had enough really to fill a video all on their own and I put the Sunny Hansen Diamond Strength black tie back in here so that I can compare against the multi-chromes because I think that's probably the closest comparison I have got other polishes in my collection that have got a multi-chrome shift to them but these ones are so multi-chrome that I really didn't know what colour category to put them in um, so I've grouped them all together here so the first one here is ILMP's Hallucinate I haven't got around to wearing this one it's in a deep blue jelly base with a huge multi-chrome shift in it very very pretty indeed I just haven't had the time to wear this one yet that one's going to be staying then we're coming back to Sally Hansen's black tie I have now swatched that one this is how it looks it's kind of not very impressive compared to the other ones that I have so I'm now going to let this one go next we've got ILMP's Biofringence the holographic version I've worn this one recently I love it that one is not going anywhere you can see what I mean about the fact that this one yeah, is it pink is it blue is it purple sometimes it looks teal who knows where to put it in your collection so it's kind of on its own with the rest of this bunch so I've just put all of them together um, so I know where they are and this is how that one looks on the swatch wheel very pretty I will show you all of these in close up in a minute you don't see the full effect at that one angle the next one another ILMP and this one is Cygnus Loop this was the first indie polish that I imported myself cost me a fortune absolutely love it I know some people don't like this one because it is quite sheer and a lot of 
um, multi-chrome polishes are quite sheer in order to build up that shift but for me this one's worth the effort and on my nails I need only three coats which for multi-chrome I think is pretty good. So that's what that one looks like on the swatch wheel. Keeping that. Next we've got an alchemy lacquer. This one is called Plum Perfect. It's also in a purple base with a strong shifting shimmer in it. Now, although this one does go a sort of greeny yellow colour on my nails, it I don't see that very much. Um, so I don't mind it. And this is what that one looks like on the swatch wheel. You can see it mostly looks purple. Keeping that one. And the last one that I've swatched for you is this Phoenix polish because it's another one in what looks like a purple base. It's called Paradise Island and this one's probably got the strongest shift of all of my multi-chromes. I was really shocked when I wore this one how strong and easy to see that shift is on the nail. I picked this one up in Rewind for Polish Pickup in July 2022 because I kicked myself for not picking it up the first time. And that's what it looks like on the swatch wheel. And there's a close-up of all of these. You can see how different they all appear. And they all appear different in different angles and lighting as well. So getting rid of the old Sally Hansen, but keeping all of the others here. Last little group here and I haven't swatched any of these because um, I don't think I need to to make my decisions. So the first one is another ILMP and this one is called Interstellar and it's a true blurple. Very pretty polish indeed, definitely keeping this one. Then we have this Danglefoot polish this one is unworn, it's called Apocalypse. I'm going to have to wear this one, it's going to go on my autumn rack. Beautiful. Not quite sure what the base is, I think it might be another purple, maybe grey. It's got a strong red shimmer in it. It's just stunning. Even a bit of green there at the edge through blue. It's sort of a coppery colour. Gorgeous. Obviously staying. Also obviously staying are my um, bottles of Max Factors Fantasy Fire. These are all the originals. I've got three bottles One's faded a little bit, that's in my project polish at the moment, I'm enjoying wearing that. And the other two are kept safely in a dark drawer. Then we have another Wicked polish and this one is the holographic version of Parline. This one's mostly grey I think, but a lot of brown in it as well and yeah. Again, lots of shifts. I'm going to keep this one for the moment because Wicked Polish are not in existence anymore so I couldn't get it again if I wanted to. Um, but I'm going to put it on my Wear It and See rack. I'm just not 100% sure that it will suit me. So this one's pending a decision at the moment. And finally, we've got KB Shimmer's Public Displays of Confection. And I was wearing this polish in the earlier D-Stash videos. Lots of people asked what it was. But because this one does go green gold, and I can see green gold on my fingernails when I look at my nails, um, this one's going to be D-Stash. Um, it's a lovely polish. It's just not for me. So we've got five polishes leaving my collection on this occasion. 
and one polish that is in my pending pile for wearing and deciding on later. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please do give me a like and a subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!